Hey guys, Tyler here, and uh, before we get into this video, just want to talk about a couple things real quick. First of all, really sorry for not getting any videos at up like at all in the past week. It, it's just been ridiculous, uh, you know, for me. I've had a crap ton of homework and homecoming and all that stuff. It's just really kept me busy. Plus a bunch of other uh, extra curriculars. Uh, just been keeping me away from recording. However, good news is, well, hopefully this four thousand or maybe even 4,200 by now uh, video special you know should make up for it because it's gonna be a pretty long video I, I mentioned a couple times you know within the video that's gonna be an hour but I've changed my mind it's gonna be at least an hour and a half now that's what I'm hoping for you know sometime around there just to kinda make up for not uploading in the past week and I probably actually won't even be able to get anything up for the next couple days either at least I don't think that's gonna happen but uh, yeah so enjoy the video guys peace Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler English Rock 50 here, and today we got a little something special going on. Today we hit 4,000 subscribers, and if you've been following for a while, um, I usually say I'm like, or I'm gonna say that on the thousands, basically, uh, it's basically a mi minor milestone. So what we're gonna be doing today is a little bit of a special video, not too special, <clears throat> but in total it might be like an hour long. How I plan to do this is... And to be like half an hour of Bloons Monkey City, then half an hour of Battles. Two of uh, favorite games from Ninja Kiwi have a little mix and match from there, and we'll see how this goes. So anyways, Bloons Monkey City, no spe sp bleh, specific goal in mind, so I want to do some uh, Monkey v. Monkeys. Uh, ex expert BMC, Harder Attack, okay, let's see if this holds up to Harder Attack. Yeah, I, I guess we'll have to see. Oh, <laughs> any attack on this map is automatically easy. I I'm sorry, that's just the way it is, I don't have control over this. But, I mean, as, you know, I, I don't mind it being this easy map as opposed to that one force map where it just splits off or something like that. Also, we're kind of dropping a couple frames. It stinks a little bit. I don't think it's too noticeable. Hope it isn't, at least. But I think we'll manage. I'm not quite sure. My computer's been sucking today just for no apparent reason. Probably should have refreshed or whatever, but I don't care. We're going to go straight into this. So I'm thinking that the monkey versus uh, monkey uh, crap and stuff will be enough to take up half an hour. If not, whatever's, I mean, we'll try to get as much uh, done as possible. 18 waves here, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm expecting ceramics maximum, since he actually cannot send webs physically, his level does not allow him to. So I'm expecting ceramics. It sh really shouldn't be that hard. Ceramic levels are easy, especially on basic maps like this. I mean, I've beaten DDTs on this map. Super, super easy. Yeah. So, anyways, in the meantime, I'm just aiming my dartling gun around. Uh, let's, I don't know. Let, let's talk about a couple things, I guess. Hell, why not? Um, today was a pissy day. I learned about a new type of pop quiz. <laughs> like you know, like teachers like don't tell you things, and it's like all of a sudden you have a quiz on it. That's a terrible description, but we're, but we're gonna go with it. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure most of you do know what pop quiz is. And I found out a new way that teachers do it. I don't know if anybody actually does this or if I'm just completely oblivious. But what my teacher did was on Friday. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is being recorded on Monday just for timestamp. But on Friday, my teacher announced that you have to read this, uh, you know, book over the weekend and on Monday. I don't know. Sometime over the weekend. And there will be a quiz on it on Tuesday. And we'll discuss it in class on Monday and that kind of thing. And this weekend, I was really busy, and I didn't get around to reading it. So we get into class, he says, you know how I said that quiz would be on Tuesday? Yeah, you know what, it's today. So that, that is like just pure evil right there. I don't know. I decided to make a little mini rant about it. But also at the same time, it's pretty freaking clever. It really, well, I don't know. I'm, my, I have mixed feelings about this pop quiz. Like, one, it's clever. Like, nobody's going to see it coming. Like, you know, you said, the teacher specifically said that, uh, there would be a quiz on Tuesday, but yet it's today on Monday. I did bad on the quiz, by the way. But at the same time, you, know, you can't expect you know all of your students to know exactly what's going on. Granted, I should have read it over the weekend. I didn't exactly have time, though. And, of course, the quiz screwed me over. But, well, I mean, not too bad. I got at least half the questions right. Actually, no, exactly half the questions right. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. But, yeah, so that's a really, really sneaky way to do a pop quiz. Any teachers watching that, try to do that. See what your students think. I bet they're all going to hate you afterwards. And students, watch out for uh, teachers that watch my videos. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure not too many teachers watch my videos, like, at all. Um, I know that, um, or I'm almost positive. I'm, this isn't 100% sure, but I'm almost positive about this. Uh, Choco Panda 1, the Ninja Kiwi mod, might be a teacher of some sorts. I don't know, but I don't think she even watches my videos anyway. Anyways, aside from that fact, also teachers, don't mention my name for any reason. Like, I learned this from the guy on YouTube, go to the I'd rather not have a bunch of, uh, kids come to my YouTube page and say, You make me get a D in English class. It, you, you jerk. Something tells me that would happen if you if those events played out. I don't know. I, I'm just rambling at this point. I, I had no idea where that was going in any way, shape, or form. It was all just weird stuff. But anyways, I mean, I guess we're just trying to stall time with this attack. Not much has happened at all. I've only seen Black Balloon so far. Like, what's up with that? Come on. It's round seven. It should be a bit more action by now. I'm expecting ceramics already. Hell, give me a Moab. I'm ready for it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'd probably spike it down and do a little mortar and darling micro. I'd probably click drag. Or no, I don't even know if I can click drag. Can I click drag this thing? Oh, dang. They fixed the click drag thing. I don't... Maybe they just didn't want it. But you used to be able to, like, select the mortar and hold down and drag it along. And it would shoot wherever you want. Kind of like a darling gun. That was actually a really boss. I would have done that, but I guess it's... That's not a thing anymore. I missed that. So anyways, round eight. Still no progress. So, okay, more... Oh, zebras. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah, okay, that was... That honestly wasn't that hard. Just because this map is super duper long, I want to get a 2-1 Dartling eventually. I don't even care that some of these balloons are getting by. Spike Factory will catch everything sooner or later. I'm just kind of aiming it in the safe spot for now. Whatever's... And now that I have my 2-1 Dartling, I should be perfectly safe to tell another story. Although, I mean, granted, it's just a bunch of random short stories, I guess. So, my birthday. Trampoline parks. Um, might as well bring this up. If you have any trampoline parks near you and you really don't know, like, what's going on with them, check it out. Because those things are actually really, really fun. You may not think, like, it'd be something really cool. It sounds like, you know... Something like a lot of kids jumping around. But actually, it is really, really fun. Basically, just what it is, it's like this big gym area, I guess. It's like gym-sized area, probably a lot larger. But anyways, there's like a bunch of trampolines kind of laid out on the floor. Um, and with spacing between them and stuff. And you can kind of jump around between trampoline and trampoline, do flips and stuff. And like bounce off the walls because there's trampolines on the walls too. Uh, which is actually really cool. If you ever look up, like, Trampoline Park or something like that on YouTube, you'd probably find something. Although, you'd probably see people doing, like, crazy amounts of backflips. Like, they'd backflip from one trampoline to the next, and it's just insane stuff. I can't do any of that, but still, even with that, Trampoline Parks are a lot of fun. For, um, uh, my birthday, I had a couple friends, and I, uh, go to Trampoline Park. We, I, there's actually one, uh, ten minutes, uh, away from my house, which is actually really, really neat. And, you know, this bites, you know, any of uh, previous thoughts like, us oh, this is going to be kind of lame, just going to be a bunch of kids around. It was actually a lot of fun. You know, a bunch of teens there and, like, a bunch of other people who actually knew how to do backflips and that stuff. It was really cool. Like, just a huge bunch of areas. You know, we were just jumping around doing... We tried some flips. We failed miserably, but it was still fun. Um, we could also bounce off the walls. There was also basketball hoops so we can, like, bound in the air. Air Jordans and uh, do dunk. That was pretty sweet. There was also trampoline dodgeball, which in my opinion is actually like the coolest thing ever. Trampoline dodgeball. I mean, you may think it's, you know, very similar to uh, regular dodgeball, which I mean, it kind of is a little bit similar to regular dodgeball, but it's a lot of fun in the sense that you can jump really high to dodge, you know, the balls, uh, jump really high to throw the balls. And if you're running away, it's so easy to get away because you can kind of just parkour off the side walls or whatever. I, I don't know. It's just, just a crap ton of fun. Uh, we had a great day, uh, great time at the trampoline park. Um, side note, though, it's freaking tiring. Like, all of us, after half an hour or so, we were exhausted. And we were only allowed to go for an hour at a time because, like, that's what we paid for. But it's it's quite the workout. Maybe because we had a bit too much pizza beforehand. I don't know, I tried, I did try to limit myself, I only like four pieces or so, and they were small pieces too, don't judge me, <laughs> but anyways, the pizza was good for my birthday, I really didn't get any like special gifts or stuff, but my friends brought a bunch of pennies, like seriously, a jar full of pennies, well I mean, not that much, like a little plastic bag full of pennies, yeah, that's quite a step down from the jar, but you know what, I don't care, a jar, uh, plastic bag full of pennies, like, why the heck pennies, well, 
I probably mentioned this in live stream before, but I might as well mention it again. Now, my friend, friends and I have this little thing going on in our school with basically pennies. It's, we call it the cookie fund. We take any pennies or any change we find on the ground. We keep it in some ke safekeeping, aka my back backpack, and we just save it until the end of the quarter or end of the semester when we take all this random change and we go into our cafeteria and buy cookies with it. It's the greatest thing ever. We have like 50 cent cookies at our cafeteria. Of course, there's tax too, but that's kind of insignificant. But yeah, we buy a crap ton of cookies. And you know what's the best part about it? The change takes forever to count. So we're, I'm standing in line counting up all these pennies. And there's dozens of angry people behind me <laughs> just shouting at me to hurry the frick up. It's great. I remember uh, last year at the end of the year, we got 12 cookies, which took literally forever to count up. But now with all these pennies as gifts, I might just be there like the whole period or something. It's going to be great. But anyways, we just finished that. Dude, what was even the highest balloon there? I don't even know. Was it zebras? Maybe. Maybe rainbows. But I did want to get rid of balloon tonium, so let's go for revenge attack. I'm not going to even bother typing on message. Why not? Your attack has been deployed. All right, let's do some more attacks. Why not? So, yeah, got a crap ton of pennies, at least 200 or so. I believe, like, I have almost $5 in uh, change saved up. Like, I'll take any change off the ground. Um, but if it's, like, not from the ground, it has to be a penny. Don't know why. It just has to be. Let's see. Saber Star Payback. He's only level 15. I'm not quite sure if it'd be that interesting. Oh, wait. Don't oh, I have to do this one in 50 52 minutes sometime soon. And this one... Just using up balloon toniums before the reset. Yeah, the reset's coming pretty soon. That's right. Sometime this week, our city's going to be reset. I might as well do this one since it's the only one rated very hard. Although, I don't know how hard very hard is going to be. Like, the topic could be would be ceramics, but he's only level 15. Is he allowed to send out ceramics? Oh, wow. Level 22. So, I'm guessing there's going to be ceramics. Wow. That's pretty impressive. But it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, this level isn't that hard. Unless there's like a massive camo ceramic rush in that one fail, like in that one fail video I had. I don't know. It is very possible. Um, other things I got for birthday. Clothes. Bleh. Whatever. It's always nice to have a good change in uh, outfits uh, now, now and then. Also, my, uh, my uh, cousin and her boyfriend, they gave me a two-gallon thing of cheese balls. I don't know if some of you old subscribers know about all the cheese ball stuff. But every now and then, I always get this, like, big two-gallon thing of cheese balls, and I always eat it over the course of the next month or so. It's the greatest thing ever, just a massive container jug of cheese balls. Yes, America. I don't know. Like my cheese. Although, to be honest, I don't know why, but the quality of it has just been getting worse and worse over the years. Nah. It's bleh. It really is. But it was still nice of them to give it to me. Um, why is it in my cousin... She's, what, late 20s, somewhere in the late 20s, I don't know her exact age, and it's probably impolite to ask anyway, even though she is relative, but still, like, all the cousins in my family are, like, a lot older than me. There's me, who's 16, as of a couple days ago, my brother, who's 11, and then all the rest of the cousins are older than 21. I believe, like, the youngest would or the closest one to me would be like 23, 24. But yeah, everybody's older, so I guess, uh, I don't know, it's not too fun, but we, you know, obviously still get along and stuff, and we're able to do things, but I don't know, we didn't ever really get to have, like, big family get-togethers where we all played football or something like that. Didn't work out. My brother and I uh, missed that. So, yeah, there's that. Anyways, this level, this is definitely a bit more difficult than the last one. There's bigger bursts of balloons. Nothing like screwing me over yet but once I get Bernie stuff then I'll be pretty much set I'm gonna want to get the mortar to at least the zero two but then I'm gonna want to go for the spike factory um yeah I don't know as for stories anything else worth noting I don't know just to say in a couple of short stories here nothing too fancy or anything like that but I do like to spice up the commentary in blank or uh boring areas with uh with just random stores and stuff by the way, I'm, later today I'm going to be out driving, so that should be nice. Hopefully we won't have another Savannah there. That would not be great at all. Hopefully my road spikes will get all these. Sweet. Wait. It's not over yet. Okay, yeah. Now it's over. It's over. We can go home celebrate. I don't... I guess I, you know, want to go for these No Lives Lost, because I 
won't mind the balloon still dissolve. Even though the seas are going to reset soon, it won't matter in the long run. But still, whatever. I do like using balloon stones for filling up my banks. It's a nice way to qu get a quick, like, 20-some thousand dollars. Um, it helps out a crap ton. Especially if I want to get, like, a big upgrade and I don't want to have to wait, like, five hours or whatever. And usually I'm not around, like, the whole time to let my banana farms fill up. I usually just, you know, sign off for the night. And when I come in the morning, my banana farms are full. So, yeah, I actually haven't even gotten too many banana farm upgrades. I've only upgraded one banana farm. And it seems to be useful. It more than doubles. Well, I mean, it doubles the banana production rate. And it more than doubles the amount of bananas it can hold. I believe it can hold up to 1,200 bananas now, as opposed to 500. So, that's pretty swag -tastic. Yes, it's swag with two G's. The the correct way to say it, obviously. If I ever make a shirt one day, it's either going to be Snurper or Swag. Probably more people would understand Swag than Snurper. Because most people would see that shirt say, what the hell is a Snurper? I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm even talking about t-shirts. I just randomly thought of it. But like, what would happen if I decided to make t-shirts? I'm pretty sure very few people would actually buy them, though. And plus, I don't feel like going through the labor of actually creating a design, setting up a spreadsheet account, and doing all that complicated stuff. I don't even know what you have to do. Do you, like, ship them out yourself? I honestly have no clue whatsoever about what you're supposed to do. Anyways, I should probably get my mortar up to at least, I don't know, one, two? One, three? Yeah, let's go, let's go one, three. And then I'll get maybe a Glaive Rickshare. I'm not quite sure if I want a Glaive Rickshare or Darkling. Since Ceramic, it's just a Ceramic level. Ceramics will come a bit later. So I might as well get the Glaive Rickshare for now. For grouped balloons. So maybe just one Rickshare. Then I'll go back to spamming Darklings. You really only need one Rickshare for early rounds. Just because the balloons aren't going to come uberly clumped. And Darklings can, you know, have decent crowd control as well. And it's 100 popping power in that Rickshare. Any more would kind of just be overkill. I'd just be want rather be extra prepared for Moabs or Ceramics. So, I mean, you know, these four towers, the Dartling, the uh, Boomeranger, the Mortar, and the Spike Factory worked really well together. They're basically just an excellent team that works perfectly in unison. There we go, Glaive Rickshaw. I got it. Sweet. Now back to spamming Dartlings. Yeah, I guess. Camel Eds, I think I'd be fine. I think the Mortar would hit most, if not all, the Camel Eds. And besides, I have 15 pineapples and 28 road spikes. I actually randomly got a bunch of road spikes because there is this one special mission I want to do. Um, and I, I think road spikes are allowed. So I think I may actually end up using them eventually. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. So anyways, here's my second Dartling. I just like spamming zero ones ones because, you know what? The accuracy really doesn't matter. It's going to hit, you know, a balloon in one way or another. There's just so many balloons on screen. Accuracy doesn't matter at all. I don't give no chainsaw about uh, accuracy. In any way, these are just pink balloons. Come on, I want the exciting things. Give me rainbows, give me ceramics, give me... Well, I can't say Moabs because he can't send Moabs yet. Can any of the attacks at me send Moabs? I don't know, maybe we'll just get like an exciting map for one of them or something. I don't know. That That's kind of my hope. You know, I, I might not even have time for all four attacks. But maybe one of them will be on a super exciting map, like one with two paths. I haven't even tried that one with, like, the two paths coming down the middle, then they split off to the side. I don't even think I've gotten that map. You know, I've gotten the X-Forest one, and I mean, I can handle that. I can handle ceramics on that, which is really nice. But, yeah, not that other forest one. I really do want to maybe make, like, one episode of Bloom's Monkey City where I take on all the really tough maps. I think, you know, that's a, that's a possibility I could do in the future if I have time. Because, I mean, cities will be reset eventually. It's going to be this week. And there's going to probably be some kind of, you know, re-sign up of, or uh, a second beta or something like that. I'm not quite positive how this is going to work. But I've heard rumors about that. So, I mean, you know, I think some of you will actually have a chance to go for Bloons Monkey City. Hopefully. Chances are it's going to be a sign up on the forums or something like that. I, I, I don't know how it's going to work, so I'm not even going to say anything yet. Don't want to really embarrass myself, and probably by the time I do upload this, it's the beta is probably going to be you know all taken care of, so it's probably just going to be useless information, and then I'm going to feel like a jerk for no apparent reason. So, anyways, let's get my fifth uh, dartling gun, cause oh shoot, didn't want that. I wanted a uh, zero one dartling. Whatever, so I'll get to upgrading two of them now. I still only have five dartlings. I'm only allowed five dartlings anymore, and. 
Well, no, I'm not even allowed anymore until, like, level 20. Which kind of stinks. Darlings are great towers. I wish they'd let you get more of them like you could with boomerangers or whatever. Like, seriously, you can get a crap ton of boomers. Which reminds me, I should probably get some boomeranger buildings. Maybe a couple. I think I'm, like, a, I'm allowed, like, a crap ton. I might as well get a couple more. Because this one special mission, I'm pretty sure most of you have guessed it already, but... Heck, it's gonna come out in the video. Maybe even before this one. I might even be talking about something I already uploaded. I don't know. A anyways, maybe I just won't even talk about that. Round 17, I don't think I've seen any rainbows yet. Just a bunch of clusters of balloons. Here's some zebras. I hope ceramics come out. Like, it'd be a shame if, uh, today, like, no ceramics came out. I'm hoping they do, but I guess no guarantees. Whoop. Small little cluster of balloons right there. Still very, very easy to take care of. Oh, yeah, I got time. Um, so, yeah, there we go. I do want to get this last Darling up to 2-1. Then I can... Then I actually want to get my Mortar up to 2-3. So I can deal with that. Then I'll upgrade my Spike Factory. Then I'll just spam Boomerang or, so, or something insignificant like that. Alright, so how do I want to go about this? Move you here. Larger Blast Rays. I think they'll do. Yeah, they'll do. Hell yeah. That'll do. Ooh, it's 2-3 already. Sweet. Now let's get ready to upgrade the Spike Factory. Don't even know what I'm going to upgrade to. Maybe just 1-0. Maybe 1-2. I'm going to go for a 1-2 Spike Factory. I feel that should work out nicely. Oop. Got to catch those blooms. I was just stretching in the meantime. Let a couple go by. So, is it seriously just going to be another Zebra level? Why is this rated very hard? And why are there 22 ways for only Zebras? I don't understand. This no makes sense. This sense no make. Maybe there will be like rainbows at the end or something. Maybe. Yeah, no, let's get another rickshaw. This is basically just way too easy. Seriously, give me a harder challenge. You know, maybe I won't even bother with the tax. Maybe I'll just like pick a Moab level like the last thing I have to do. Or maybe even just the ceramic level. Or maybe like one of those jungle levels. Oh my gosh, those jungle levels are AIDS. Well, I mean, not all of them, just the one with two paths. If you know which one I'm talking about. So yeah, these attacks have been kind of failed so far, unfortunately. Nothing too powerful or anything like that. Let's get a monkey ace, just for no apparent reason again, like we did last time. Getting just monkey ace. And guess what? We're going to get a 0-2 snurper on fur. Oh, wait, I don't even have night goggles, huh? 0-1 snurper on first. Alright, let's get you. You seem pretty important. Uh, as do... Alright, let's aim at this mortar. Die, other mortar. We're all shooting at this mortar now. Die, die. Excellent. I think he's dead. Not quite sure. It doesn't seem like he's breathing in any way. So anyways, yeah, your defense is crushed, stable stars, pitiful balloons. Don't have enough balloon for revenge. I want to have max balloon before revenge. But, yeah. I got some money off that. You know what? I'm going to pick one of the uh, computer levels, though. What do I want? Maybe it's something that's not too bad. I don't know, this one, this is a ceramic level, it's rated pretty difficultly, and it's forest terrain, maybe it's one of those difficult maps, I don't know, oh yes, it's a difficult map, alright, forest map, we are gonna own this, guys, let's just get up some spike factories, cause I like to start off with spike factories, only 20 waves, shouldn't be too big a deal, I think I should breeze through this, okay, so yeah, starting with two spike factories, in, in my opinion, is probably the best way to go with some of these, uh, maps with double paths, because otherwise it's really hard to guard the exits. And if you want to go Dartling Guns or Boomerangers or something like that, you got to make sure you guard your ex exits. Because if one balloon gets by, they'll all start going by, and it's not going to be fun. Um, plus, I really prefer Dartlings over Boomers with maps with multiple paths. Glaive Rickshade just isn't reliable with two paths. It's kind of random which one is going to go down. With Dartling, at least you can control where it goes. And plus, the balloons are going to be a bit more spaced out. So, I mean, it's a bit more Dartling specialty. But, yeah, Spike Factory is definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely <laughs> important. I cannot pronounce words today. So, hopefully, I will be able to beat this map. Hopefully, no, I was lost, too. And we will get balloon stones and monies. So, anyways, we're, we're just seeing a bunch of red balloons. Some red, some blues. I mean, what's nice is that there is breaks in these rounds. Spike factories won't get overwhelmed. Although, actually, they wouldn't get overwhelmed. They would just keep thickening their spike piles over time. I only realize that now. 
Oh, but now pinks. This, I don't know. These are coming in pretty fast. This a couple might get through. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reinforce real quick. Uh, pink's coming out first. That's never friendly for spike factories. That is not spike factory friendly at all. Hurtful of spike factories. Oh, phew, that was close. Didn't lose any lives there. I know lives aren't that important. And I could have saved some, saved some money and not gotten road spikes, but you know what? You know, if I have the chance to go for bloomstones, I don't want to really throw it away. I want to embrace that opportunity. So now just blues and greens shouldn't be too much. Oh, but here's a little yellow rush. You know what? We'll see how this goes. Yeah, maybe I didn't even need to place that road spike. Keep an eye on this path now. All right, excellent, sweet. And I should be able to afford Darling Gun here now. Yes, there we go. I get it right here, just because you can get like anywhere you want, really. And I'll get to zero one. Not quite sure. Do I want to get to like one one? Maybe that could be a possibility. But now I do have like some fast con fast balloons control and overall just crowd control. Lots of popping power here. Even though it only has one pierce, it's still a lot of popping power. That's for sure. Darton gun here, just aiming in the middle. It's going to hit a balloon sooner or later. So many balloons in this area, why would you not use it? They're all just randomly spaced out. Plus, when they come over this X here, it's bound to hit a balloon. Because at this point, it's barely inaccurate. Of course, once it gets all the way over here, it's inaccurate. Ooh, white balloons. So, yeah. Anybody knows that whites... Or I'm pretty sure you guys know this, but whites are faster than blacks in this game for some reason. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, at least the fastest balloon, though, is the Usain Bolt the balloon, the double DT. I guess that one makes sense there. It's black and invisible and hard. Yeah, good description, Tyler. Good description. I'm patting myself on the back right now. But anyways... These balloons have not been too much a nuisance yet. A couple more monies and two will have the, um, what is that called? Powerful darts. Zero one turtle gun. Powerful darts. Was it always called that? I don't know. Ninja Kiwi has switched up some names for towers and stuff. Like bomb shooter. Seriously, who who would call it a bomb shooter? That That's, that's not a good idea. I don't like that idea. But next thing's next. I want to get my mortar just in case any random, <coughs> excuse me, early leads come. Because that is a possibility, and I don't want that to screw me over. But I think I should be fine. I mean, I've beaten a ceramic monkey v monkey attack, and that doesn't give like extra balloon bonus per round. So I feel I should be, or extra banana bonus per round. So I should be perfectly fine here. Unless I make a big goof or something like that. But I don't think I will. My dartlings will lead me to victory in one way or another. I do like, though, with the uh, powerful darts, or the zero one dartling. Um, some of the shots, not all of them, but at least some of them, go directly straight. So I will get a lot of pierce out of those. They help a lot. So from here, I'm just uh, saving for more. Ooh, regrow pinks. Yeah. yeah, it's not that much there. So I'm perfectly fine. And now I can afford the mortar. So what do I want? I just want it somewhere. Whoa, okay. You can just be directly over the spike factory. That is perfectly, perfectly fine. But I just wanted to put it somewhere where I couldn't, uh, you know... Or where it wouldn't be a useful spot for like a dartling or something. Anyways, here's some whites really early on. I actually want to focus these down, if possible. Because my spike factors are not exactly ready for them. And let's just get one, and a spike on each uh, side here. Excellent. There we go. Let's get this mortar up now to at least one, two. I want to just shoot in the middle right there. Then we can focus on our dartling gun army. Yeah, once at least half the balloons are burning stuff, I should be perfectly fine with uh, cleaning up in the back. Round 7. Um, I've already had to be a bit extra careful. I guess the Balloons Monkey City portion is going to go a bit over half an hour. Not too big a deal. I'll just bounce out with the battles portion being maybe closer to 25 minutes. But heck, it's going to be an hour video. I've set that in stone. Hour video just for you guys because it's special. 4,000 subscribers. Heck, I, I didn't even thank you guys so far. I, I do want to say thanks to all you, you know, especially the newcomers for, you know, hopping on board to the channel, finding these interesting, and of course the old long-time subscribers su for supporting me for so long, you know, I appreciate all the support and, you know, feedback that you guys have given, you know, I hope it continues, I hope you guys just don't go away for whatever reason, but, yeah, you guys are, you know, still the only reason why I've actually kept this going now. And the only reason why I've actually been known to people, which is honestly really amazing. I I, I can't get, thank you guys enough. So I'm making an hour-long video for you. 
to hopefully make some of it up. Anyways, here's some camel balloons. My only, th my mortar is not uh, ready to detect camel, but that's barely any camel balloon, so it's whatever. I'm gonna get this first dartling up to two one. I want to get a dartling to two one before I get a spam a bunch of zero one dartlings, just because I prefer to have some accurate popping power first. I don't know why. I guess I just do. But yeah, this accuracy is helping out quite a bit. Now a bunch of random burst of balloons, nothing to do. Ooh, zebras, and a lot of them. Wow. Well, let's hope I pop all these. There's a lot of balloons in here. Just kind of aim in this area. Hold out road spikes just in case. And... Perfect. Phew. For a second I thought I'd leak a bit there, but I guess I handled the zebras just fine. Anyways, more balloons here, and coming out pretty early. Um, hopefully my spike factory should be fine. Yeah, th they handled it just fine. Nothing to worry about at all. And soon I'll have the 2-1 Dartling. Ooh, lead balloons just in time. Good thing I have my mortar. Otherwise, I'd be kind of screwed right now. However, I gotta, you know, focus down these uh, lead balloons if possible. Or, I mean, you know, focus down the children if possible. Aim them with my Dartling gun. Just pow, 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 pow. The children are dying. Children balloons, not human children, because that's... Sick. Yeah, okay, that's the only word I can think of. Sick. Messed up. Crazy. Um, do I want a 2 2 dart mortar? Nah, not yet. I'm gonna stick with that for now. I'm gonna get like at least two more dartling guns. Then I'll upgrade my mortar. So, anyways, here's some more leads. It shouldn't be too big a deal. At least I hope not. Uh, all of them are getting popped by the mortar and Bernie stuff, so nothing to worry about there. Just keep an eye on spike factories, make sure I'm holding them off, okay? And I'll get my darlings here. So I kind of like them shooting, you know, down this area. That's where the darlings are aiming. Ooh, rainbow balloons. So there's my first set of rainbows. Uh, ceramics shouldn't be too far off. Uh, that's right. I got to be prepared for ceramics. Got to make sure my darlings are up to high levels. Um, uh, yeah, it is actually will be kind of an issue preparing for ceramics early on. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to need, like, a bunch of two ones. Up some camel pinks. No big deal. Pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy to handle. A couple leads. And Rero Blacks mixed in there, but overall I have a lot of popping power with these Darlings. These guys will get eaten up super, super quickly. And yes, I do mean eaten up. I think you can eat balloons, right? You technically can. Anybody can eat a balloon. I challenge you to go home and eat a... No, don't. <laughs> don't. It... Bad things will happen to you. I don't know what exactly, but bad things will happen. I don't... <laughs> Just so you know, guys, if you eat balloons, you will not fly. Okay? That, that, uh, that's all I have to say about the matter. Anyways, round 14. Still no ceramic balloons yet. We've only seen a couple rainbows, so I think we still have a little bit of a while until ceramics come. I do want to get a couple more darklings up before then. Hopefully, I should be able to afford them. If ceramics magically do come super duper early, though, I'll just have to have good aiming. Plus, I have road spikes I could use to break the ceramic shells. Those can actually prove to be very, very helpful. And now another dartling gun here. I'll get, to, you know, reinforce each side with the dartling gun, so they'll be aiming in from all sides. It's best when I aim from all sides. It's and just make sure that no matter what path they come from, they're gonna get hurt badly, very, very badly. After this, I'll get my mortar. Or after another um, zero one dartling, I plan on getting my mortar up to two three to handle any camel leads that could come, or maybe even just two two. I, yeah, I'll try 2-2. Two, two. I think that's reasonable. I mean, everything else here is detects camo. If I have to, I'll resort to pineapples. That's not a big deal. I don't mind using pineapples at all. Heck, that's why I have them. And I mean, they were really useful early on. Especially, like, before you get your mortar. Or before you even unlock the mortar. Pineapples are super duper useful. More useful than road spikes, in my opinion. Well, I don't know. They have their own uses. Pineapples are good against really early leads. And road spikes are good against uh, early ceramics, moabs, and leaks. Because, I mean, I've also used road spikes to help catch uh, dartling leaks before I get my spike factory up. So, I mean, I guess there's a win there, too. But, I don't know. I mean, they all have their ups and downs. So, I, should, I definitely should get my mortar up to 2-2 uh, two, two at least. A little crossfire right here from the dartling guns. They don't mean to hurt each other. They just... It's an accident. Accidents happen. Anyways, let's see how this mortar shot does. I want to aim it a bit more. Oh, dang it. Um, aim it a bit lower. Yeah, I think that'll do. And now let's slowly upgrade all these to 2-1. Uh, 
and like alternate them on alternate uh, the two ones on each side, I guess. Getting these, yeah, these balloons are just pretty much getting shredded. This what this level actually isn't too bad. There is like one harder, uh, uh, deep, thick forest level, and of course there's a harder jungle level. But yeah, now that I have this many darlings, ceramic balloons will not stand a chance unless if like. I lag or something. I don't know if they get by if I lag. I think it would actually slow the game down as uh, as compared to battles. Yeah, I, I I don't even think lag would get me unless it prevents me from aiming my darling guns correctly. I mean, I guess that's how lag could get to me. But yeah, now a bunch of regrow leads. Not actually not that many. Just a couple. Not worthy of being called a bunch. Round 19. So two more rounds. That means ceramics have to come sometime soon. I wouldn't be surprised if they only came the last round, because, I mean, we've seen that kind of thing plenty of times. Ooh, rainbows. It's actually been a while since we've seen rainbows. Wow. And I will catch them in, in a crossfire right there. I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to get a boomeranger right in the middle, just for overall, you know, popping power right there. They'll do some decent cleanup work, and I really will only need one of them. Could upgrade spike factories. Actually, no. When I have two spike factories, I'm not going to upgrade them. At least not right away. And plus, there's only 20 rounds. This is the last round. So, ceramics have to come. And I feel we should be able to take care of them quite easily. I actually really want to get this 2-3 just to be safe because I don't have too much else could, uh, I could want to buy otherwise. Anyways, here's the ceramics. And only a few of them took them down pretty easily, actually. And regrow rainbows. Honestly, though, these are all just going to be shredded super duper easily and that's gonna be the game right there sweet so we beat that tough level uh, with ceramics so there we go about 15 minutes or so awesome sauce you got that forest tile so sweet that's gonna be about it for the balloons monkey city portion I hope you enjoy this and let's head on over to battles see you there alright guys here we are with the balloons TD battles part of uh, this 4,000 subscribers special or basically 4,200. Yeah. Anyways, I might as well just let you know um, before um, the Balloons Monkey City part was recorded maybe a week ago. Probably more than a week ago at this point, actually. And the intro and this part, well, I'm doing it now. Maybe the day it's uploaded, maybe the day before. I don't know. But it's being recorded a week later. So anyways, we're just going to go into quick battles and, you know, just do some random stuff. We're going to kick some ash. And we're up against random noobs, I guess. I don't know. Not all of them are going to be noobs. I don't know. I hope some are decent players. He seems experienced, but he's lost more games than he's won, which is not good. So he probably uses a lot of ninjas. Just hasn't quite realized better strategies. I don't know. Could have spied on him, but whatever. This recording is going to go for a while, so I'm not going to waste too much energy. Even though I can pretty much guarantee that uh, not going to run out of battle energy. Just want to be safe. Anyways, um, let's see. I know, um, when I'm recording this, or no, I really wanted to, um, you know, have this part of the Bloons, or the Bloons Tea Battles, uh, part of the special be about, you know, me exploring, uh, battles and observing some of the changes, you know, the tower, um, changes, I guess. I don't even know if I want to call it that. Anyways, here's a farm and a boom ranger. I don't see how it can be that bad. But yeah, um, I. <laughs> What was I going to say? V? That's probably something meaning something. He, he's, it probably means stop. It's not always a bomb tower. It's really not that hard. He could have afforded a 1-3 boom ranger pretty easily. I don't know. That's going to hurt, though. Anyways, though, Balloon Steed 5 got some tower changes, some nerfs, some buffs and stuff. But I don't think they've been implemented in the battles yet. And I'm pretty sure they will because all these uh, nerfs and buffs were because of battles. Like... No matter how hard Ninja Kiwi tries to convince us otherwise, they will know deep down that all these nerfs and buffs are because of uh, battles. And I'm pretty sure... Um, shoot. Um, well, I'm, I'm in deep crap right now. This is going to hurt. Put you on first. So let's see. See if I can manage this. But yeah, I, I wanted this part of the episode to be you know exploring these nerfs and buffs, but I don't even think they've been implemented yet. If that Bionic Boomer, yeah, the Bionic Boomer still costed, uh, um, 1450, so, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be, uh, dealing with that. Anyways, he's sold his bomb now. What is he doing? How, 
I'm pretty sure he should have more money than what he has. This is ridiculous. He just keeps leaking. He's probably going to die to pinks right now. Not fun. Not a far fun way to start off this. Whatever. Hope we can find somebody a little bit better now. Who somebody who won't die to pinks. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, he had a you know decent tower loadout. But he just did not know how to manage his money. His main issue was that he was going for a uh, oh, 0-3 Boomer Ranger first. Which is a bad, bad idea. I don't know. I honestly, I'm speechless right now. Anyways, cards against the guy, I don't know. At least he's won more than he's lost. We'll give him that, I guess. But I guess we'll have to see. But anyway, speaking of those nerfs and busts, I might as well go over what they are right now and maybe what impact the Cabin Metals. A uh, big one here, Boomeranger, uh, third tier price increase. The uh, Bionic Boomer's price has increased to 1600 and Glaive Rickshade to 1450 I believe. So it's actually pretty big. I actually... <laughs> he starts out losing a life. That's, 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 that's fantastic. But yeah. Whoa, that was weird. Um, I might be, you know, once those uh, get implemented, be trying to find strategies that, you know, have less Boomer Rangers than... You know, I, obviously that's what Ninja Q is trying to do. I mean, th I think that's kind of fair. Although I don't think Boomerangers are, like, the number one priority, you know, of things that need to be, uh, buffed. Because really, I mean, I'm going to spend send Space Blues at him. I just don't like that Boomeranger spot. But yeah, there's some other things that need to be nerfed more than, uh, Boomerangers. But whatever, we'll just go with this. So yeah, there's that. Then 4-2 Cannon, uh, or, well, the uh, balloon Impact price has been, uh, pretty uh, heavily nerfed. I believe it... It costs like an extra 800 now, so it's now 4,000. So that's pretty expensive. I don't know how much I'll still be using that. It's a solid tower. It's good in battles. I don't see why they would nerf this or either either of the Boom Rangers in BTD5. It seems, you know, pretty balanced there. But whatever. A little bit of stalling right there. Had to get that 1-3 uh, one, one, uh, Boom Ranger up in time. Anyways, let's send him Pinks. His Glaive Rickshay, it whiffs a lot. And I really don't see it doing that well against Pinks. Especially when they kind of space them out like that. That's kind of... It's gonna hurt. Oh, he just sold it. What's he doing? Are you, oh, you're going for... That's a terrible spot for a Bionic Boomer. Are we gonna have two people in a row die to pinks? Well, actually, this isn't working out as poorly. Just some are getting through. Just some. So I'm gonna keep spamming pinks at him. Why not? If you're not gonna have your Boomeranger in a good spot, you know, be prepared for the pink spam. It's not that hard to defeat. You really only need a 1-3 Boomeranger and get it to 2-3 if they send mass amounts of blues and or if they layer blues and pinks. And he's not leaking too many lives, so I think he's doing fine. Anyways, those pinks aren't going to hurt me much at all. Yeah, there we go. Once he actually has his groove going, he's gonna, not going to leak much at all. So let's see, what else is there? Well, let's go to buffs. I'm pretty sure the Buccaneer got some kind of buff. I think it had some price uh, decreases in there, you know, somewhere. And also, uh, the grapes for Grape Shot, like, pop twice as much now. I don't know. I don't see how it's too big a deal. I mean, I guess new players use Boat Slot, so that could help them out quite a bit. Um, I know for a fact the Ring of Fire actually got a buff and a price increase, which is actually pretty fair. Um, it used to cost, um, 2500 now it's 3500 And it pops two layers of blues, which is actually insane. I really do want to try out the Ring of Fire. It sounds, like, really useful. And is this guy going to die to blacks? I don't know. That's, that's not fun. At least I have something else to talk about in the meantime, but... Oh, he finally got a Glaive Ricochet. He just came to life. Did you, wait, did you guys see that? His lives went from 9 to 10, then 5 to 1. Well, okay. Hopefully we'll find somebody else who doesn't die to pinks or blacks. Maybe we'll get a longer... Well, no, I'd rather not have a longer map. I'll, longer maps bore me, really. They're not fun at all. Like, at all. Okay, but yeah, so there's that. Ring of Fire, definitely want to try that out. Um, let's see. Ninjas. Ninjas actually got, uh, you know, a... Quite a few buffs, actually. I believe there's a bunch of... Or there's a couple price decreases. With that, I'm getting this orange thing. Oh, shoot. I'm disconnected to the server. I don't know why I'm getting the orange thing. I'm, I mean, I'm connected to the server. I don't get why it's having issues saving. So, let's see. Uh, base price decreases. A bunch of uh, attack speed increases, actually. For, like, you know, the base tower and the 4-2. Um, that's pretty big. I believe um, Bloon Sabotage also got a little buff it affects the balloons that were sent recently that are on the screen now so you don't have to anticipate your attack opponent's attacks now you can just wait and see 
you know, like right when they attack, then uh, when they do, just, um, let's see, just uh, go for uh, the sabotage ability, and it'll work just fine. So I'm really looking forward to that. That could actually be useful, because like if you see your opponent send like a BFB in round 20, you don't think you're ready, activate that ability, and it's going to be twice as easy to defeat. Also, I be believe the distraction got a bit of a buff. Um, the distraction will distract more, more balloons um, more frequently than it used to. Well, I'm done for. Don't give up. Shout, shout encouraging words. Oh, shoot. I want a smiley face, not a... Oh, face. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I mean, he definitely can't count himself out. I haven't played battles in really a week. Well, I mean, I had, like, maybe a couple quick battles, I think. Actually, I don't even remember, to be completely honest. But, yeah, it's been quite some time since I've actually played battles regularly. And also, Bloons Monkey City, it actually has been a week, you know, pretty much since I played that. My city's probably on the pacifist mode now. I've lost a bunch of uh, monies just because of that. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to try to go for two farms because I'm greedy like that. That is how I roll. Oop, a little bit of a lag spike. I'm going to be leaking some lives because I am starting off with only a uh, zero, 0 bomb tower. <laughs> that doesn't exactly pop too much, you know, does it? Let's see how this does. First, I'm going to put him on first for now. So he shoots down a couple uh, specific balloons. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I should probably get the cluster bomb soon. This is going to be close. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, now down to 94 lives. Well, I mean, that doesn't kill me. I'm going farms. So, I mean, I honestly... Well, either way, actually. Technically, since it's just quick battles, I don't care about lives really at all. Yeah, I'm just being a bit more relaxed here. Not doing, you know, too many super-duper amazing strategies or whatever. I really, really did want to uh, be able to test out some of those nerfs and buffs and see if I could make strategies out of them. I was actually really looking forward to that. But the one thing Ninja Kiwi needs to nerf is, of course, the Ice Tower. The one thing that's been wrecking a game with of course ice stalling and ice shredding whatever that yeah whatever that does honestly it is pretty overpowered because even even ignoring the fact that ice pops infinite balloons the ice shredding tactic still stalls the rounds like quite a bit it has some hint of ice stalling in it so i mean it's ridiculously annoying to play against not fun to play f with or to play against so i mean i don't know I don't understand it. So anyways, he has his texture. He actually has it on the bend as opposed to my spot, which hits uh, balloons uh, twice or gets two chance to knock out that black layer. And it failed there miserably. Whatever. That's going to be like the one time I'll let it get by. Not too many times after this. But anyways, I'm going to do some uh, layering next round. He actually has full 150 lives because I was just uh, sacrificing a bunch of lives for economy and stuff. I honestly didn't care too much about lives. I still don't. I give no chainsaws. See, he's actually doing a bit of layering right there. Match it? Huh. Could have sworn. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's time. So let's see. One, two, three. And I'll make these regrow yellows as well. Might as well, just in case. Let's see if this gets any lives on him. Should. So I see a few balloons getting by. So, let's see how much this actually does to him. He got another boomerang right there. And he leaked. Wow. <laughs> so, obviously, something is not going right on my screen. Because I saw him leak like a crap ton more lives. And now I've, my economy is crap. But whatever I should manage, I think his fourth tower will probably be mortar. I'm going to get my mortar up just just to like 1, 2 right here. Just in case he sends like regrow leads or something. But, I mean, this could help out a good amount. Ooh, with these black balloons. I just lost more lives because of them. I don't know. I don't know how he's actually managing to do so well. I'm just getting really unlucky with some of this stuff. But whatever. I like to put the um, the mortar kind of near the front. Because it prevents mortar exploits. And I could always move it if they send like mass mouse of camo pinks. So I mean I'm thinking ahead. He's got it here. I don't know. It, it's pretty close to my spot. So I mean like whatever. I'm actually going to maybe get a ring of fire if he tries to send a rainbow rush of doom. The Doomy Rainbow Rush, I guess. That's what this say. So anyways, does he have money saved up for it? I don't know. He very well could. I love you. Um, Lil, 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 
Let's see. What am I even going to do now? I don't know. I'm expecting him to send the rush. kind of want to get this and this. And maybe a couple more uh, attack shooters. I don't know. I'm just... I actually am kind of testing stuff. Park is one of the maps where I honestly haven't done too much testing. If I do play it in, like, King of the Hill or something, I send, like... Or I'd probably go for some kind of boomer strat. Since it's not too hard to work with. Although, I'm not exactly sure about boomer ranger spot either. But anyways, let's see how well he handles ceramics. And actually, I guess his tax shooter was like a pretty big ceramic popping power. So that worked out actually quite nicely for him. He didn't even leak anything. And now my economy is total crap. Oh, he's sending a rainbow rush. Let's see how, how well this does. Or how poorly. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, so I actually ripped that one to shreds. Uh, Ring of Fire probably did, had a lot to do with that. Yeah, it has a lot of popping power. Or uh, a lot of pops already. So I'm pretty happy with how that went. I'm going to just get some stuffs then. Maybe more banana farms. Oh, fifth banana farm. Then I'll go for bomb tar. Well, no. I'm just going to leave that one here. I don't know if I'd be able to afford two Moab mowers otherwise. So I'm going to need Moab mowers. That's for sure. I'm probably going to send him a regrow Moab on round 18. That's probably not a bad idea. Although now he, he just sold a boomerager for 4 2 can. Maybe he has a chance at holding off for re or four regrow ceramics. But I don't know. Don't forget. He still has to deal with the Moab shell. That's his main weakness. He's still sending out balloons right now. What's he doing? I'm probably going to actually sell a farm and hope that uh, gets to him. So let's see. Sell you. There we go. I got you up. And I will get you up in case he sends a Moab at me. Don't know if he will. But okay, here's the Moab at him. Let's see what he does to defend it. I don't know. He's sitting there. He's selling stuff. <laughs> That's not how you defend it. Okay. Anyways, now he's getting more Mars. Probably going to be the end of him. I don't think he can even afford Assassin right now. And he finally got it to Regrow Ceramics. But yeah, those are Regrow Ceramics. And it's going to be a GG right there. So sweet. I don't know. I I'm just out of it, really. Last night was really, really, really freaking late. I was up till 2 in the morning. Because just partying with friends after party of homecoming and stuff. And honestly, I am pooped really really out of it I do have some homework I should be doing I'm actually cutting out homework time to record but you know what at this point I really don't care I really need to get the video up for you guys so anyways actually there is something I do want to test here let's see Boom rangers mortars spike factory and farms and we'll give this a try I don't know sometimes I use quick quick battles to test right strategies but I never get paired up with anyone good in quick battles I I don't understand this at all like, you have a better chance of getting paired up with a good player if you had a, a bad record than if you have a good record, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, see, he's starting off the ninja. Not good. I don't even... I don't know. I actually don't even know a good boomer ranger spot for this side. Is here a good spot? Maybe here. I'm thinking here. I honestly don't know, though. I, I haven't worked with... Uh, Bionic Boomer on this map at all, but I just want to spam him reds because he's starting with a ninja. I mean, when, whenever you see a ninja, it just screams spam red balloons. So anyways, he is going for space balloons. We'll see if those do anything. I have my Boomeranger on first, so I mean, he should get most of them, right? If not, oh, shoot, yeah, I forgot about that. That is a sucky Boomeranger spot. Um, okay, take two. Let's see, how, how is this looking for a spot, though? Now I have absolutely no towers on the field. That's, uh, that's fantastic. We'll see how this one does. Because honestly, yeah, I'm just, I'm just messing around. I have no idea what I'm doing. Help, someone. Whatever. Bionic Boomer Ranger next round. I'm playing like a big noob today. But honestly, I, I feel I can afford to make these mistakes. If, if I was playing against a good player... I would go with the you know, strategies I'm more comfortable with. Although I don't exactly see this spot working out either. Maybe down below the path. But anyways, I'm probably just going to be able to kill him for lose. Oh, never mind. He got a boomeranger. Not quite too sure about that spot. But, I mean, he's barely surviving. Barely. He, he's still sending out uh, space blues, which is not the best thing to do. You want to be sending out group dreads. It gets you economy so much faster than Space Blues do, do. Honestly, if you want to try to get lives on your opponent, wait until round four for pinks. Oh my god, he's getting a boat. <laughs> but 
but okay, yeah, so that that's, you know, what I was mentioning earlier. Many new players do use boats because sometimes that's, like, what they think is a really good tower and, like, their only camel lead popping power, which isn't the case. Snurfers are very, very good camel lead popping power early on. But, yeah, the boats, you know, buff could help them. So, anyways, let's see how this spot does against pinks. Not too crummy. I don't know. I'm actually not upset for any reason about this spot. It's not shabby. Um, although I feel I should probably get like another uh, boomerang or something. I don't know. I feel like I should be doing more. I don't know. How do I want to go about this? I'm just sitting here. I have no idea. I might as well just get the ricochet now. It's too late to do anything effective. Let's just get more economy. Yeah, I normally don't go boomer strats on this map. I, I haven't really done much with boomerangers at all, so... Yeah, I don't know. And I honestly don't plan on going boomer strats ever. I'm probably... I probably actually should replace boomeranger with the tax shooter. I like tax shooter quite a bit on this map. It's very effective. Anyways, maybe I could go for a couple of regrows. But at the same time, he does have some fast attacking towers. We'll see. We'll see how regrow whites do. If they make any progress. And if none, whatever. I'm getting some economy right now. It's probably gonna, you know, probably lose in like round 13 or something. It's my plan. I might even go like all in and just sell some stuffs. It's worth a shot. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm starting to regret uh, filming uh, the special like when I'm hardly awake. Or A, when I'm hardly awake, and two, you know, I haven't commentated in a while, because I think you guys all know when I uh, don't commentate for a while, I get rusty, and I don't have my normal pep peppiness or whatever. I don't know. I'm usually not as excited. <laughs> holy holy crap, just just to point this out, this economy sucks. Just, it really, really sucks. We'll see if he does anything, but he's been sending balloons this whole time. Oh, camos. Camos, he's weak against camos. Let's get him with camos. Just one thing of group zebras. Actually, two, since I can afford it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of him. Even though we got that cannon ship there, I don't think he has enough popping power. Okay, maybe that actually won't kill him. Okay, what the balls? Um, Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he's sending me some camos and stuff. That was not worth it. I'm so vulnerable right now. My economy sucks. I actually don't know what to do. Can I get him with like a rainbow regrush? You know what I'm gonna do? Let's see. Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's go. Add in a couple ceramics here too. I sold my mortar. I just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And his camo of choice is camel leads. Genuous. The slowest balloon in the game that he could send right now. He sent it. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. Okay, but that rush worked, so we're doing all right. We're doing okay. I did not do that well that game at all. It screwed me over. Maybe I'll just go like tech cannon next time or something. Some of these maps, I just don't know. I honestly don't. I want to be able to go to late game with them, but at the same time, I want high economy. Ooh, Hydro Dam. Wait, is this the guy I just beat? Yes, yeah, it is. Uh, isn't there anybody at all? all good online you know what actually all i want to do random towers hydro dam let's go crap <laughs> crap let's just hope that he has no idea what he's doing hydro dam so my random towers don't screw me over because as of now this really sucks honestly i'm actually gonna probably spam some dart monkeys that is my plan yeah i'll start here one two three i actually am gonna get an apprentice in the front somewhere Maybe here? Maybe here? I don't know. But yeah, he's aiming down this pipe. He'll be, you know, he has a good amount of popping power. Nothing wrong with Dart Monkeys at all. I might not even get an apprentice right away. I'll just spam reds at him and, you know, overwhelm his boat because his boat actually is doing really terrible right now. On Hydro Dam, the uh, Grape Shot buff isn't really going to help out much because generally the Grape Shots are going to miss. So, I mean, yeah. I think he send out Space Blues there, so I'll get a second Dart Monkey. Wait a second. <laughs> this dart, He's aiming at these balloons. Why are you being such a stupid? He, he's, continu he's continuing to do this. He's just randomly aiming at this guy's uh, balloons. Well, that's just... That's fantastic. Wh why? <laughs> what is his motivation? Why have you decided to be a traitor? 
Anyways, let's get some more Dart Monkeys. I can just kind of keep piling them on here. He's so screwed to pinks, which is good news for me. That and blues. What would be quicker? Or pinks would be quicker. Pinks would more quickly do more damage to them. So let's go, Pinks. Yeah, I have my little Dart Monkey army here because I went random towers. But I mean, I feel I should be fine. But yeah, he, he definitely needs a solid D. I, I cannot see his D right now. It's just so... It's such a small D. He has no chance at holding that off at all. He's down to 43 lives already. And yeah, goodbye. Maybe if he had that Boomeranger on last quicker, he'd have a chance. Actually, no. Now that he's aiming down the pipe, he's getting the majority of these. So, I mean, I don't know. Now, I'm starting to link, leak against these pinks. Uh-oh. So, let's see. I might as well get a lightning wizard to deal with the fast balloons. Overall, I'm getting most of them, but they are causing me a leak. That Bionic Boomerager, you know, is good on the left side. It's not too many good spots on the right side for it, which kind of stinks. But whatever, I'll get a bit of economy then. So, this lightning bolt should... You know, it doesn't exactly miss balloons, so it should be useful against the fast pinks. However, I continue to link leak for some reason. I don't know why. How is it actually not hitting some of the pinks? The lightning actually does fire really slow, which is one thing I hate about the, the wizards. The lightning, it pops 20 balloons, and it fires really, really slow. It's like once every two and a half seconds or so. Not good. Not good. I'm down to 97 lives already. I think I require more dart monkeys in some way. Glue gunner? I don't know. I'll try a glue gunner, although those have been known to miss quite a bit. Now he has Bernie stuff, so yeah, he has a decent tower right there. And barely holding off at 24 lives, so I don't know what I'm going to be able to do to get him. Actually, I feel I should get a second uh, lightning wizard. I'm going to get him right about here. Or just because regular yellows come next round and all regular balloons, so I feel I'll need a bit more overall popping power. Oni is a 3-2 mortar. Holy bejeebus. He's set there. Yeah. Um. How could I possibly hurt him? Now he's a ninja. So those are his four towers. Camel detection, he's weak. But overall, I think just overall pop power, he's going to be screwed. So I'm not even going to send out eco balloons. That's right. No economy from Tyler. At all. None. Not a zip zero. None. I could actually... Bleh, voice crack. I could actually go for a fire wizard if I feel I'm struggling for any reason or something. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. It's this round. No, nothing. I can't really get him with anything yet. I think the first round I could possibly get him with something would be round 12 with camos. I'm going to just do this. I'm going to give both these guys camo detection and one dart mon monkey. I'll give one dart monkey camo. Oh, he has mortar. He can go for like a signal flare or something. But I don't think that'll be able to help him. Let's go. Space rainbows, actually, and some space zebras, too. Camo balloons, finish him off. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. And there goes all the camo balloons straight through his defense. So, you know what? We played this guy twice in a row, beat him twice in a row. Generally, the best way to not face someone twice in a row is to wait, like, five seconds or so after playing him. Or maybe even a bit longer. Anyways, how about in the meantime, we take a look at decals. I'm actually trying to save up. And, you know, I want a bit of a different decal. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want. I could get war warming up. I think that's what it is. Yeah, warming up. Po possibly. On low quality, it's hard to read the text. I don't want the Ninja Huey decal just because too many people have it. It's not fun, I guess. I have the Blue Wolves decal, and I have the Year Next decal, this first one up here. So, yeah. I don't know. What else could I get? I could get this. I've only seen a few of those. King of the Sea is pretty cool. Giggles, uh, <laughs> giggles. Slow coach. I've actually have never seen a slow coach. What's this boot? Curb stomp. That's a strange one. I don't know what that means. Leak free. Maybe I've seen one of those. Pyro. That could be cool. Balloon Jamin Franklin. I definitely have not seen too many of those, if any at all. I could go for that. Although I mean, warming up could be cool. I'm gonna see, you know, what I could save up for. I'm just waiting to, until I get more medallions. Then I'll do, you know, whatever I want to. So anyways, hopefully we can get a better player this time. 26, 27 minutes uh, in for the battles, and we have not placed, played a decent opponent yet. Of course, I haven't played decent like, at all this time. Well, I mean, I guess the guy in Park wasn't too bad. No, yeah, he wasn't that bad. It's just, I mean, he hadn't played as long he died to a mob. He seems okay. His win-loss ratio is about 2-1. to one. Anyways, let's go for attack shooter cannon. I think we should. I'm actually I'm gonna go with the mortar as opposed to the village, just for uh, regrow leads on round, whatever. 
just in case. Actually, you know what? I want to try or practice something different. This has been a strategy I've been working on a little bit. Uh, involves the tax year. And actually, um, it would be tax year, mortar, boomeranger, and spike factory. But I think we should actually still be able to work, make this work. Trust me, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, phew, there we go. It actually relies kind of heavily on just letting one balloon go by just so we can have the full extent of round 21. This is supposed to be an, uh, an anti-farm strategy or just, you know, strategy without using farms. But I actually grabbed farms with me. But the two most important uh, towers of this strategy are the mortar and the texture, at least for early game. I don't exactly see this game going too long. Yeah, I really don't. So, you know, late game doesn't concern me. If, you know, it does get kind of late, I've... You know, uh, a bomb tower will do just fine or something. I can get some good stuff against ceramics. So, yeah, we'll get this going. I start with a 3-0 texture. Actually, something unique. You really don't see too many people start with 3-0 textures anymore. Sometimes on the Yang, people will do it. So, I mean, it, it kind of works. But it doesn't exactly get no eyes lost. I'm not exactly going for no eyes lost here. As you see, I intentionally leaked the life on round one. Honestly, I don't really care about that at all. But... I don't know. It's it's a major reason why people don't go textures. Anyways, now I gotta get this mortar up. Because a mortar at this bend will actually hold off all the blues your opponent can send in. Is as a decent pop art. Or at least most of them, like occasional ones will get by, but really not too much. Generally, when people see textures, they try to layer blues and pinks over them. But yeah, that's not gonna happen with this mortar in the way. Just these pinks are gonna get to the texture. Nice try, buddy. Wait, I might leak one here. Ah, oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think it just layered with the normal balloons. So yeah, he tried. He got an life on me. But, oh no, lives. <laughs> so anyways, we have the Bionic Boomeranger here, which is doing good. But once we get to blacks and stuff, he's going to have an issue. I bet, I'm actually going to send like two pinks here just to see. Um, Actually, I feel I should, oh, that's right. I forgot the next step. Duh, I got to get the Bernie stuff as soon as possible. And we'll send out a couple blacks here. And we'll see how this does. If, you know, it absolutely sucks against him, then I'll spam some blacks. If not, then whatever's. So anyways, let's chase him down. It's leaking. Oh, it's, ooh, it's leaking a decent amount. I'm going to spam some blacks, and then I'm going to get up a bit more defense, because round eight is coming. <laughs> the uh, layering of these balloons with the natural balloons actually, or the computer balloons is actually hurting me a bit. I normally do try to get a second texture up sometime soon. So, I mean... Ooh, that's kind of hurting. Please stop hurting me. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. And now he has his Glaive Ricochet. So anything I could do will not work. Let's go for some more economy then. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. This strategy does have, you know, some weaknesses and stuff. I don't exactly plan on using it. But, you know, I've used it in the past. It's... Bleh. It does all right. Mainly the main purpose of it is getting to the Spike Storm, which I don't have on me. But we all should know that Spike Storm is actually more overpowered than intended. Oh, pff, what's that random Ice Tower doing there? It's completely useless. It's not even within the range of these. Unless he plans on getting a second one. I guess I could see him getting a second Ice Tower or something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to upgrade my Mortar first, then I'll go for more Economy and stuffs. So yeah, let's get a bit more economy for now. Anyways, like, you know, if he has only that, I could end up exploring the mortar. I don't know what that is a thing. It is. It is a thing. So anyways, actually what I want to do is save up for a ring of fire in case he decides to rainbow re-rush me. And actually, whoa, his his mortar is... Oh, now it's 2-3. I'm like, wait a second, that was a 1-3 mortar. But right now, I have very little money. If he sends me a rainbow re-rush, it might be tough to defend. Actually, I think I'll be fine now. Now I'll be fine. Ring of Fires are quite decent against Rainbow Regrushes. I'm pretty sure he's not going to go for an all-in-one, so I mean, I feel I should be fine. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's get some uh, attack shooters up here. I'm just basically going like all attack shooters. These guys will wreck ceramics and stuff. I know they do. So we'll see how these uh, rainbows do against me. And uh, some... Some got through, but that's, I don't know, not too many. Oops, oops, indeed. Let's see how he manages against uh, ceramics. 
Because he has only that Bionic Boomeranger right there. You're going to need more than one Bionic Boomeranger. Even if you do have an Ice Tower, you're not going to stand much a chance. Although, here's the thing. This Ice Tower won't let the Ceramics escape. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. Wow, yeah, Ice Tower really does need to be fixed. I mentioned that before. A single Ice Tower just held off four Ceramics. The Mortar had barely anything to do with it. Um... Do I want to try exploiting the mortar? No, I don't know. My economy sucks. I've been mainly focused on... Well, no, I, I've focused on a different way to defend. I'm actually going to get a Blade Maelstrom just in case. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to get some bomb towers now. So what's he doing? Is he going for a bigger rush? Let's see. I'm going to get this just in case. No, I'm just going to use it. Screw that. I got it now. I probably actually will need it in the future. So he just wasted a bunch of money on that. I'm going to sell you, get a Moab, and you can die. And I'm going to sell you for a second Moab more, just in case he sends one at me. So now I be, should be safe against Moabs. And now I have this ability plus the Blade Maelstrom to deal with any Moabs or stuff he can send at me. So whatever. I don't know. It seems that kind of lately everything I've been doing just hasn't been working out quite nicely. But anyways, now that that balloon's about to leak, let's activate the ability and lag. It's not too laggy, but GG. GG indeed. I don't know. I don't like Ice Tower as much. Just because it's, uh, the Ice Tower strategy just relies on so many, um, glitches, really. It's, it's honestly ridiculous. First of all, I'm pretty sure all you guys can know Ice Towers pop whites and zebras, which is unintended. They're meant to have some sort of weakness, and that should be Ice, or whites and zebras. And whoa, Fast Willy. Does he have a Fast Willy, though? If so, I guess the w ladies will be pleased. Yes, they will be indeed. And he has played s oh, voice crack. He has played quite a bit. He has 2,600 battle score. His win loss record is, eh, I don't know. It's almost 2 to 1. It's kind of far off from 2 to 1, actually. But, you know, we might as well just call it 2 to 1. And I'll go with my tempo strategy. We'll see how this goes. We will see indeed. But yeah, there we go. You know, first, first part where my opponent isn't absolutely terrible. I mean, he isn't. He's not a complete noob. He's played quite a few games, and also he has positive win-loss record. So, I mean, two things. Ew. What is with that Boomeranger spot, though? Oh, boy. I might have I might have just spoken too soon. What is with that Boomeranger spot? It's not going well. Okay, I guess he realized that is a bad spot, and it's changed. No, he just... <laughs> what the hell? You just sold it and you put it back there. Why? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Oh my gosh. You know, I thought this could be a good game, but honestly, Quick Battles has just gotten kind of boring. I'm going to have to do like a, a few more games, like just against the people in Skype or something who are actually, you know, who actually know what they're doing. Some of these guys are just sitting there like, okay, I'll just place this Boomeranger wherever the heck I feel like it. And there's no way he's going to be able to hold off. Uh, pinks at all with that boomer spot is not that good Oop. Oh, I forgot to do some uh, targeting uh, with this guy. I probably should have done some uh, Putting him on first for the greens duh, but whatever glaive ricochet is up now I should be able to deal with most of those blues except that one so 147 lives compared to his 78 That's how much starting with that 2-3 boomeranger cost him. He has 78 lives now, which is just flat-out terrible. It's terrible I could send some pinks against him, but I'd rather be focused on economy, just spamming blues and stuff. You know, I'll let it be for now. Yeah, I don't too care too much about harassing him. It's just a little bit of pink harassment. Meh. Just uh, meh. So anyways, round five. Still get to spam these blue balloons. I do intend to get a decent economy on this map, because I actually can get a pretty high balloon economy on this, you know, map, with just uh, Boomeranger and Tax Shooter to start. Gets me maybe 800 ish by round 12 ish give or take Ooh, he's sending a couple pinks generally once the boomeranger gets in his groove it's not going to be leaking to them uh, at all which is very very good i'm glad that it hasn't whiffed yet because the main reason why I'm a, the boomeranger or at glaive ricochet will leak the pinks is because it whiffs often yeah it does so he's actually going to be kind of screwed to black so i'm going to send out a couple of those I might even send out a few more if I have to. But yeah, there's... I don't see him holding off blacks. Wait, maybe maybe he is. Maybe... Oh, he got a second 2-3 Boomeranger. Sneaky, sneaky. 
surprised he afforded that, but he barely put any money at all into uh, Balloon Sense, which, I don't know, it's not the best idea. Anyways, though, wasn't I talking about Ice Towers before and how, what kind of glitches they uh, have? Oh, yeah, yeah, so there's that. Also, I'm pretty sure um, we've all figured out by now, Ice Towers have infinite pierce. They can literally pop infinite balloons with one shot, which I'm not... <laughs> I just love watching that boom ranger. It's shooting just here randomly. I have no idea why, but it's being a stupid. It's being a stupid. Yeah, but I think we all know that balloons with that or towers that pop infinite balloons in one shot is honestly ridiculous. That is why they nerfed the ray of doom that used to pop infinite balloons. Now it doesn't. It pops only a hundred per shot. Um, glade ricochet. Although it wasn't exactly infinite, it popped. Uh, 10,000 balloons per shot, which was really OP, so they nerfed it. And now the Ice Tower, which cost $300, so we can freeze infinite balloons. Yeah, okay. Seems legit. Or legit, as some might say. I'm actually going to get this guy up the tax bear right now. There we go, and hopefully I'm gonna, not going to leak too much of these leads. He's actually sending out constant leads. So, I mean, i got to maybe retarget this or something. I plan on getting this mortar. Seven 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 seventy seven economy. There we go. I wanted my mortar up there, so I had to figure out how to do that with the leads and stuff, retargeting stuff. Now I'm pretty much set. You only have two bionic boomerangers. You're gonna be screwed pretty soon to like massive amounts of regal rainbows. And if he chooses to send some at me, oh ho ho! You better watch out. I might as well actually just get that up now. I'd rather be holding down the five button as opposed to like. Pressing it rapidly, hoping I don't go under. So yeah, Ice Tower pops infinite balloons. And if you have two of them, nothing will get past at all. Like, even when I had that one, that Ice Tower, like, stalled them for so long. Because uh, I think um, the ones you upgrade has such a very short period between uh, the time that the, ice t the balloon gets unfrozen and until the time... It attacks again, so it really only gets to move like a couple inches or <laughs> pixels, a couple pixels. The computer screens are not measured in inches. Don't tell your family that. So, anyways, yeah, it's measured in pixels, and the balloons barely move at all, which is ridiculous. Hope they do fix it soon, because I mean, I do have a couple legitimate uses for ice towers. You know, that doesn't completely break the game, because ice tower is supposed to be a support tower. By by definition, it's a support tower because it has this, because its main idea is something other than popping balloons. It is a support tower, and if you try to convince me otherwise, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I'm going to be very, very narrow-minded about that. Ice tower is support. So, anyways, yeah, th that that th blah, 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 that's that. Um, you know, Arctic wind, not so much support. Arctic wind and ice shards, okay. That's fine, but two zero ice towers, those are meant to be used to support, not anything else. Hope Ninja Huey fixes it soon, but I don't know how long it takes them to do it. I don't know if it's even on their radar. Just hope they take care of it. Anyways, he has only two three boomerangers, which is not a good idea. Oh, okay. Turbo charge, that might hurt a little bit. Nope, those were not even regrow, so that actually did nothing. I'm like, crap, crap, crap. I wanted to get the turbo charge, actually. But, you know, I couldn't afford it because I was just getting these guys. But that actually did nothing to me. So let's just send him a regrow Moab and finish him. Because he has no Moab popping power. Two or three Boomerangers actually really, really suck against Moabs. And plus, even when the uh, ceramics are regrow, it's just going to kill him. It's going to be bye-bye to Fast Willy. Guess he has a slow Willy. Ah, sha, 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 sha. So anyways, there goes the Moab slowly leaking through his defense. GG. And there we go. Victory. So, there we go. A few more games. Trying to keep this going. Hopefully, maybe, maybe it can be a trend as we go further on. Our opponents get slightly better. I don't know. That'd be nice. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Could be, but I don't know. Alright. Waiting for a player. And player. Sending player info. Finding a match. Finding a match. Does that mean I just found someone? Or... Nope. 21 seconds. I, I don't know. I, I'm just looking right at this scoreboard thing right here. I'm guessing, like, the only real purpose of this is just to keep us occupied in the meantime. 30 seconds. Haven't found a match. Okay. Let's, re let's uh, retry. Ugh. Ugh. Also, their servers do have quite a few issues. 
I mean, I've noticed like when doing private battles and stuff, you know, disconnect the server, it'll just disconnect you and you'll have to recreate the private battle. And sometimes you're not even able to find people. Like, what the heck? Is literally nobody playing now? That's actually... <laughs> that's actually pretty crazy. Literally nobody's playing... Oh, there we go. Jamie's. He's a positive win-loss record. He's played, you know, 200 games or so. I don't know. Do I want to go random towers? I was going to spy on him and see what he had. I honestly do want to go random towers. But you know what? Nah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try some Boomeranger spots on this map just because, you know, I don't really know. And I'll grab Monkey Ace with me just in case. Because, I mean, you know, games can go late, so, you know, wouldn't mind having Ground Zero on me. Although, I don't exactly plan on recording a whole game through late game. Like, no way. No way. What the hell? No. Just no. Waiting for opponent to load. Hopefully, he's not laggy or anything. <laughs> Yeah, let's give this sh let's give this a shot. So, Boom Ranger spot. Do I even want to start with the Bionic Boomer? I really, really do want to start with the Bomb Tower. Even if that means I have to get up a 3-0 Boom Ranger by round 6, it'll be worth it. What are you doing? You're starting with a Spike Factor. That is not a smart move. At least in my opinion. I'm going to leave you on first. There we go. Had to make sure I could catch us up leak without leak. But why are you starting with a Spike Factory? I did something on that a while ago where I did only spike factories and no matter how hard I tried even though I devoted all my money to spike factories they just could not hold off the uh, reds and stuff and you know he's doing crap right now so if I seriously just beat this guy on you know round three or whatever I don't know that's no fun it really is no fun when your opponents just suck <laughs> like spike factories really really do suck up until uh, the uh, ability a spike storm that's actually reasonable but only because it's you know four times powerful than it should be and i just beat him on round three. Oh my gosh so let's see i think we beat somebody okay that was the earliest this video so we've beaten somebody on round three round four round six and then maybe like a couple 12s like 14 15 something like that and then a couple 18s so, yeah, so far we have not seen a single person who knows how to hold off a Moab. Damn. <laughs> Although, I mean, the game on Temple, the guy had a good idea. Fast cooldown, ceramic rush, but I guess it just wasn't enough. Temper flash, nope. And another new player. So, no, I might as well just go random towers at this point. Let's make these inter interesting. We are going random towers, and you know what? Let's... Uh, let's make this hell for ourselves. We're going to go with dartling guns and farms. And to make it even more hell, the farms are going to be away from the path. Genuous. <laughs> this is this is absolutely genuous idea. So you know what? I'm going to put my... I don't know. I'll, I'll go for a banana farm first, then I'll go straight into a dartling gun. Or no, maybe it'll be the other way around. Here? Might as well. I'll put it here. Now have the banana farm over there. Yeah, we got this, guys. We got this. Uber micro, let's go. So he's a he has actually a bomb and uh a bomb and uh blah, 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 a boomeranger. So he's doing good. But he's not sending out oh now he's sending out balloons. Um okay, I guess I gotta get this to zero one then. I guess. One one even. I think one one will hold off these reds and crap. Still haven't gotten a farm yet, so my economy sucks. But, you know, I can't, I'm going to be making this hell for myself. I'm going to be getting farms with Darton Guns because, Dar oh, shoot, maybe I didn't plan out this positioning as well. Come on, let's get this going. I got my banana farm up. We're going to harvest these bananas like crazy. Yeah. So, he has nothing. I'm still going to send attack balloons to him. I'm, it's not like I'm not sending balloons. I'm just not going to send economy balloons. I'm going farm economy, yo. Super duper farm economy. And from here, I'm not quite sure if I want to get my Dartling to 2-1 or if I want, like, another 0-1 Dartling. I believe Dartling to 2-1 is cheaper. Okay, so, yeah, he's not good on pinks right now, so I'm going to send some pinks. Oh, I just got that 2-3 Boomeranger. Not fun. Can I fit a second farm here? Nope. Okay. Guess it's going to be over here. Yeah, let's go. Just aiming. I can't exactly aim over the track, though. Like, right next to the Dartling gun. You know, that's my death zone. Because, I mean, it doesn't do well there. Anyways, I should probably get this guy to 2-1 eventually. Once I get it, I'll be able to collect bananas. Some sick micro here, right guy, right here, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. 
not. These pinks are actually hurting a little bit. Now I actually stand a chance that I have a 2-1 Dartling gun. And from here, I'll probably spam 0-1. So it's like Balloons Monkey City. Yeah. Balloons Monkey City. I honestly wouldn't mind getting an Ice Tower, but of course I just feel like a giant hypocrite. I'm not going to use Ice Towers at all until it's fixed. But I really do want to because there are some legitimate ways to actually use Ice Tower as either a support tower or going for Arctic Wind or Ice Shards. You know, you know I can't wait till I'll be able to do that because it will actually be useful. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, I'm just thinking about these. I mean, I'm not testing it or anything, but it, it's a working in theory kind of thing. So anyways, I won't be able to gain with, get him with blacks in any universe at all. Not even the cookie universe. Yeah, cookie clicker. <laughs> Just randomly bringing that up. I don't know. I've been playing it a little bit here and there. But whatever. It, it just randomly made me think of that. Oop. Ice tower clicked somehow. Anyways, he has not sent any balloons at me. I'm almost afraid he's saving up for like a regal yellow rush or something. He very well could... Oh! What? What? Why did you get a mole at more? Okay, I'm actually gonna talk to these guys. See what they're thinking. Hello there, and then a smiley face to make me seem friendly. But in reality, no. I am the devil in this. How much? Why are you getting a Moab mauler so early? See if I can get him to change his ways to see the light. He needs to see the light of the battles and when to actually get the more oh, Mars. <laughs> Waste of money. Then a haha. Anyways, here's a bunch of yellows. I might as well get this guy up to uh, zero one so I have a bit more popping bar. going to leak a little bit. Okay, so I guess he's not playing this too seriously. Whatever. That's fine. Nothing wrong playing video game for fun, but... <laughs> For the viewer side, I bet you guys might be getting a little bit bored, but hey, I'm mixing up this up with random towers. I'm going to do my best. Oh, I have no lead popping power at the moment. I, I, w I was almost thinking go ice towers, but of course that's not camel lead popping power. So I'm going to go for a third. I'm going to go for a third tier darling. See if I can actually afford hydro rock pots. I mean, if I sell my farms, I could definitely get it. And now he's a mortar. Where's that aimed at? That is not a good spot for a mortar. I could get him camel pinks. Actually, no, I couldn't. That uh, cost a bit too much money. So I'm going to actually send him some spaced uh, regrow rainbows. See if this does anything to him. Because there's always boomerangers on first. Well, why didn't anybody tell me? That could have sucked for him. I'm going to keep regrow checked. See if he does anything. If he sends anything shady at me, I'm going to sell my farms for hydro rocket pods. Because hydro rocket pods kicks butt. Major butt. And nope. Okay. Well done. Well done indeed. I plan on getting Hydro Rock Pots eventually. Nope, guess not. He's just sending some black balloons that he's saved up money for. Black, sir, is a balloon of choice, it seems, then. I can't wait till I get $7,000. Then I won't even have to sell a farm, and I'll suddenly have my Hydro Rocket Pods. Yeah, looking forward to this. It's going to be happening real soon. He's sending all these blacks. I guess they kind of do a little bit of damage. That's because my defense sucks. Anyways, there we go. Hydro Rocket Pods. I definitely have a solid D right now. This, the Hydro Rocket Pods just made the D solid. That is right. Anyways, Rero Ceramics. Yeah, he's weak to him. I'll send a few of those. He's probably going to have issues with those. I mean, his Bionic Boomeranger is in the back. So the Ceramic Shell isn't going to even be popped until the balloons get far. And then the Glade Ricochet won't be able to clean up. That might even end him right there. And there we go. GG right there. Round 16. With around 15 rush or whatever. Still not the best opponent. Come on, can we at least get like one good player so we can have an intense battle? Or maybe some kind of ice staller or hacker or something. I'm literally asking to run into a hacker. Just because I'd rather play one of those than some mega noob. Yeah, mega noob. Mega mega noob. Find a match from 20 or not 20 seconds. Waiting for opponent. So there's barely anybody on now, it seems. Or maybe he's just the matchmaking system just doesn't want to pair me up with the few good people that are online. Maybe. The fork man. Oh, the, okay, this is a long map. Let's randomize. Yeah, random towers. This isn't too bad. I got the monkey ace. The monkey ace is going to be the majority of my popping power. It's going to be a huge amount of popping power. Uh, yeah, Operation Dartstorm is really, really good. Monkey Apprentice can hit Camel Leads, Ninja. 
I don't know. If I feel like getting him early on, bleh, then I'll get him. Only if I feel like it. Um. Oh, okay, then there's that. The disconnection problems. At least it didn't disconnect. I still have this yellow save thing out. Of course, I meet you on my test, no, test account. Okay, so I mean, if... <laughs> I would type, but I'm actually really for. Oh my gosh, he just. <laughs> well then, he disconnected. I love you too, man. But of course, he disconnected. Ugh, sigh. This test account. He did play quite a few battles on that test account. But at this point, I might as well just go random towers unless I see somebody uber duper amazing. Uh, that kind of stinks, though. It's like we were meant to be together. Like. Finally, someone who recognized me. I love you, Tyler. Disconnects. He just loves me so much, his computer just died. But whatever, you got in the episode, and that's what matters. Ooh, Jiggity J. Whatever the hell that means. But yeah, he seems like a solid player. And we're on the yin yang, so I can do my yin yang strategy. Sweet. Alright. Let's see how this. Nope, not Darling. Spike Factory. Yeah. I did mention Spike Storm's a bit overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I you know I still use it until Ninja Kiwi fixes it. I mean it's not like perfect or anything. It's 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 mainly good against Moabs and BFAs bees and stuff. I have lost while spamming the ability before, so I mean it's not perfect. It's not as nearly as good as Ground Zero. So I mean keep that in mind. <laughs> Starting with a monkey ace, what is this? Alright, starting Oh shoot, what a press. Then the big oh face. So anyways, I got this guy in last. He'll be shooting in here, popping most of these balloons, and then I'll get a second boomerager here to clean up. I'll get him the one zero eventually. <laughs> what are you doing though? He only sent out a couple uh, economy balloons, and now he just has a monkeys. It's sexy. Yes, very very sexy indeed. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, the, the uh, thing that came up just said my opponent disconnected from the server, and I was about to press OK. Now there's this. It, did he not disconnect? Obviously, the servers are having issues. Wait, what? I've been timed out. I finally just got this green thing. How did I get timed out? That is so stupid. <laughs> yep, these servers sucks. There's absolutely nothing wrong with my internet today. Perfectly connected, but now finally I have this green disc or whatever so like once i get this i get disconnected genius not even genius genius so anyways random towers again back on the mines i mean these are pretty easy maps so i mean we'll go with this i got boomerang i got the village i got actually all these towers can be used you know decently effectively but for now i'm starting out the boomerang so let's go with that i will get you right about here I don't know. I like to have them on this last spot, last or spot on last, because I've noticed in uh, King of the Hill games, you know, uh, some of the games have been going, you know, shorter because the boomerang spot right in the beginning. It's just been clogging up balloons lately, which I've really, really liked. That's been really nice actually. So I'm gonna get you here. I'm gonna get you a one zero eventually if he sends out reds. But yeah, then the games haven't been going late game. It's actually been more fun because I've been stuck with like 600 economy. And, you know, we've been trying to make the most of that. Those are actually fun games, as opposed to games where it's super duper easy and it's going to go late game. But it looks like he has a 1-3 boomerang right now. So, I mean, I guess he knows what he's doing. It's 2-3. He hasn't sent out a single economy balloon, though. Now he's finally doing it. But, yeah, if you don't have bomb towers in your loadout for some reason, I don't know why, but just, you know, it happens. You know, a 2-0 and a 1-0 boomerang will, you know, be a good substitute. As opposed to a uh, boomerang or a bomb tower to start off with, it works just as well. Plus, it's actually slightly cheaper. A eh? uh, one zero boomerang is cheaper than a zero zero bomb tower, so keep that in mind. So, anyways, round three and round four next. I should actually probably sell this for a uh, bionic boomer. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That was close. But he's about to send pinks too. But yeah, now I got this, and we I think we both have them on last. Although I don't know, I'm actually going to send one thing of pinks, maybe even two, just to test whether it's on first or last. So here we go. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think it would have aimed in the same spot for first and last. So, I mean, that's not a good test. Let's take two. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's last. I think it would have aimed up once. At least once if it was on first. So he has this on last. So I'm guessing we're actually going to have, you know, low economy overall. And that could actually be pretty fun. Low economy games. I don't know. I enjoyed those. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I did mention ice stalling before. But why the ice... Uh, you ice towers noob <laughs> yeah so I'll leave him at that even though I I still think I can beat him I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna verbally harass him though because he deserves it he's an ice tower big noob it's pretty sad if you need ice song to get past round 13 if you do then obviously you are a mega noob no way around that. So anyways, maybe I'll get him to leak a couple lives here. I don't know. These greens or something aren't quite doing enough. He's getting most of those blooms. And now he's getting a couple extra boom rangers. He's not sending anything at me now. He really is a mega noob. He's not even going for economy at all. That's terrible. But yeah, because actually these ice towers are shooting at the same time. So the ice tower isn't as effective as it could be. But I think it's enough to stall the round to its maximum time. I actually probably should have gotten my uh, Boomeranger Glaive Rickshay in a better spot. How about right here? I'll even, I'll keep you here. Oh, he went for a second Bionic Boomeranger. Well, that's just cray cray. Anyways, my economy is really big this game. I wonder, gee, I wonder why. But maybe if he's going mortar or something, I can beat him. I do a village. <laughs> so no mortar exploits for you if you know about mortar exploits. Jack Connor 4, who doesn't. Apparently doesn't know how to use the chat. Either that or he's too much a wuss to talk. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Wish he had Glaive Rickshay. That could actually break up the ice stall a little bit. You know, I'm actually curious. I remember seeing some videos or whatever of like a uh, uh, Moab uh, Cripple Snurper popping balloons on the opponent's screen. So it'd be a, <laughs> it'd be a huge troll to ice stallers if I just got the Moab Cripple like. Ha, I'm popping your balloons, no ice stall for you. But anyways, he has a mortar. So you know what that means? He's you know, he's gonna get exploited eventually. Even if it's like not around 13 exploit, he's getting exploited eventually. Just don't know when. The nice thing about this mortar spot is actually if it doesn't pop the balloon around or a decamelized balloon around here, you know, you'll have camel balloons coming around here and you know if your boom rangers are over here on the last spot, they're gonna do crap. <laughs> You know, camo ceramics just sneaking right through, going to screw him over. So anyways, let's get this village up. Might as well. Next economy loose, I'll even be able to afford it. So I mean, pretty darn soon. Oh, okay, I'm actually indirectly stalling. Just, like, by chance, if somehow he's actually, uh... If the stall broke up for any reason, I just might want to make that run go quicker somehow. But whatever. So anyways, more economy for me, because, I mean, I know it will be safe. He's just playing it. Very poorly, really. Not playing the smart at all. He does not have his SMRT smart. <laughs> so yeah, ice stallers give me so much economy. Main reason why you don't want to ice stall against me? I'm I'm just gonna get a bunch of economy that I'm gonna beat you with the text you've never seen before. Well no, I'm just gonna generally get him with the text. So this this ice tower is actually for popping power, which is uh different. I think it'd kind of be more useful if it was here, so it could freeze the balloons, then these could actually work on them together, but that's just my thoughts. If, you know, noobs want to play like noobs, then whatever. Anyways, I actually probably would have been screwed if I, if the, he, if he wasn't nice stalling, because I wouldn't have been able to afford a second, uh, boomeranger. Yeah, now I have 1208 economy. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I actually want to try this. Although, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to just send out like a bunch of these and hope that a couple get by. I'm pretty sure, yeah, at least a few of them aren't going to get decamelized. It's worth a shot. Because, I mean, I know th they'll get decamelized around here. No, okay, I guess that wasn't enough. He, I, he was able to clean, clean up. I think it'll be more effective with ceramics. Yeah, I think it'll be more effective with ceramics. So, anyways, time to get a bit more economy. Let's Why not? Let's get, like, 1,800 economy by round uh, 15 or whatever. I have my second uh, Bionic Boomeranger already up. So, yeah, I'm set for round 15. I fear nothing right now. Fear absolutely nothing. 
and you know maybe i'll try for some kind of mortar exploit or something i don't know i don't know so many ways i could go about this but i'm thinking camel regrow ceramics and then like regular ceramics so these guys are, will actually be occupied what holy crap okay screw that camel idea how did he oh my gosh massive reaction right there well, screw the mortar exploit. Well, that sucks. So he has one, two, three. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Shoot, I have no tower for really Moab popping power. I'm gonna have to mass snurpers. This is gonna be fun. I might like actually get like a second village out here just so I could make it. You know, get a crap ton of snurpers. Good news is they'll have a massive economy, so I can pretty much purchase whatever the heck I want. I could spam the entire screen with like turbo chargers if I wanted to. But, I mean, I guess. He's been saving up for a while. He has sent out some balloons. I'm guessing his economy is probably around 600, 700. So he's bound to get that sooner or later. Plus, he has that ability. So that ability is going to save him. Pretty much. Mortar exploit is going to be pretty much impossible. I have nothing I can lag him to death with either. So I have no laggy towers. But I don't know. This might be the grand finale. Yeah, allergies. Yeah, grand finale of the... Uh, the big subscriber special, the actual one game you might want to see, see if I can somehow beat this Ice Star. I, I have no doubt he has ground zero, but you know what, I'm still going in hard. I'm going to try, you know, hard as I can, beat him, see what I can do. You know, when you have 3,000 e economy, you can afford to be ballsy. Actually, speaking of being ballsy, I want to just try this just to s test his defense, just to test his solid D right now. Just, just to see. I'm only testing, dude. No, no, nothing personal. I'm only testing. And in the meantime, so okay, that nope did nothing. Let's get some stuff then. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, and yeah, we'll get, we'll spam these uh big snurpers right here. At least that one. And from here, we'll just spam a bunch of one zero snurpers. Actually, I'm gonna get you over here, village. Come on, come on. I had you before. And there's that more of assassin. So that's one, two, three, four towers. Maybe he went five towers and went ground zero. I don't know. I could have spied, should have spied, but whatever. I have too much econ right now. I'm just spamming snurpers. Let's go, snurpers. I got this. Yeah, buddy. Looking forward to those snurpers kicking the boot. Oh, of course, of course. I'll just break up his ice stall. I mean, like, why not? Yeah, cripple Moab. <laughs> this is going to be pretty funny. I this would actually might be my first time getting a cripple Moab in the battles. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just quick send one of these rushes real quick just to see if uh, this does anything against him. I mean, this is a lot of balloons here, but I feel he has a lot of overall popping power and stuff. He's got those bomb towers. I mean, I think he's kind of sad. I'll just kind of keep spamming him in. So I mean, you never know. I could manage. Maybe he likes. I mean, you never know. He could just be a lagaholic and like lag like crazy but it doesn't appear to be the case so oh well so let's see you know what I actually want I'm gonna go for that uh, fire Phoenix yeah summon Phoenix I got you right away good man good boy I guess now what I want is a turbo charge on first just so just in case if you need to like catch a couple things and yes yeah, time to spam turbo charge so I'm getting a bunch of obscure towers I normally wouldn't get but I mean this is I gotta manage I'm going random towers so let's see this guy's got the really massive nozzle right here let's see how you manage against a regrow BFB just one maybe combined with like a fast quam moab or something just for a little bit of spicing up cost me some eco so let's see how this manages I think his more are actually on first yeah, it looks like it, because he just popped that one. Darn, I was hope I, I wish I could leg him, leg him the crap, but I have nothing that could do that. Absolutely. Well, oh, there's the Phoenix ability. I mean, I bet that could lag some. Wait a second, did you just activate that? Uh, Okay. Uh, I won't question it much. Yeah, I'm not going to question it at all. So, let's see, he's probably saving up. I bet he's going to just send a ZOMG or something like that. Wait, there's still one regrowth from Ram. He's just coming around. Oh, he's finally going for economy. Like, what the heck? You're a bit late to the party, dude. Took you a while. Ooh, I do have um the uh, big village thing. 
uh, the high energy beam to deal with uh, some mob class balloons too. Yeah, there we go. Now we're thinking. Glaive Lords, nah, Glaive Lords are actually pretty bad, not gonna lie. They don't do well against small and stuff. Maybe, well, I mean, I guess these would probably be my best against, like, the Moab children of a ZOMG. That's really all I can, all I can think of. Anyways, all right, you know what I want? Sell you, get you, okay? First. Or no, 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 last, okay? Let's see, does he do it? He does not. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, darn. Oh, well. It was worth the shot. It was worth the shot. I wish I could have popped some of those, but that's just not happening. Anyways, those balloons are just going to be stuck there forever, pretty much. So, let's see. I could send the ZOMG at him. I think he's kind of screwed to that. Let's go ZOMG him. He, there's no way he's going to be able to hold that off. He does not have enough overall popping power. Good news is, I still have a bunch of economy, so if he tries to like counter or something, I should be perfectly fine. Well, not perfectly fine, but I should be relatively fine. He's a bunch of Moab assassins. So, actually... I'm going to save up for, uh, in case he counters to something. I'm going to keep, uh, no, I mean, if he counters, I'm going to counter his counter. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, what? The Moab didn't even appear on the screen. Oh, that's right, because I have Cripple Moab. Oh, here we go. This is all breaking the BFBs and stuff. He just activated the pop and all ability, but that is a lot of crap right there. And there's also some Moabs right here. Oh, but he's mysteriously holding them off. Bleh. Well, that's not fun. He's only getting this now. Maybe he's panicking. Oh, these balloons. Okay, these are actually going to cause him some trouble. Are they going to run through and kill him? Come on, finish him off. GG? Is that good? Yes, it's GG! There we go. Finally got him with the ZMG. That took long enough. But yeah, I love how the Moab didn't even appear on my screen because my Snurper army. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think we'll end it on, like, the only interesting game in this entire video. I might even... I don't know, I might even just mention that, but whatever. That's what I do against high stars. Generally, I... Yeah, I mean, if he had ground zero or something like that. If he was smart enough to get ground zero, you know, it would have gone for a while. But he, he did have no economy. He was pretty bad at the game. Pretty bad. I'm actually really shocked, though, how uh, quickly he went for the uh, pop and all ability. That was, that was a new one. That's for sure. But anyways, I'm going to close the video there. <laughs> Ending with, you know, over an hour of battles. So this is a pretty long video. Hopefully I make up with my lack of video making otherwise. But yeah, it's going to be about it. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, more videos coming in the future. I don't know when. I hope I can find some time within, you know, homework and stuff. Had you film them and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I I'll, I'll try my best. Good news is you have a long, you had just that long video to kind of make up for all that. So, thanks all you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day. See you all next time.